Hey everybody, welcome back to a Titanic Tech Tech video. Today, uh, we're just taking a journey of the mind and we're gonna look at three cards that I really just kinda wanted to build around. And I looked through my binder and I kind of was just, you know, thinking like, what would be a really cool deck to like kind of really um, synergize with these three cards? And what comes to my mind is, is really like tokens matter. Like, so making a lot of tokens in these green and red colors, a creature token specifically, and, um, you know, dealing damage to our opponents based on creating an abundance of tokens, and preferably through a Tear of the Peaks. So my mind just goes like immediately to like cards, for instance, such as like um, a Blade of Selves. Like how amazing would a, a Blade of Selves be with like a creature like the Tear of the Peaks, which is a five mana dragon and it's it's uh, it penalizes opponents for targeting it, of course, for three life. And then, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, tear the peak steals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. So, with Blade of Cells, for instance, uh, equipped to this creature, um, when this creature the tear of the peaks would attack, um, depending on how many opponents you had, um, it would create that many copies of Terror of Peaks um, that would be attacking those um, remaining opponents. So, uh, you know, if we swing on an opponent, then the two Terror of the Peak co copies are made. Um, the Terror of the Peak sees those copies being made, and then the copies see each other. And um, they also do attacking and combat damage. So it's a very good interaction. It's very strong. And that's kind of what I wanted to start with. And for me, um, you know, the best commander for that is Maria. So, you know, we're kind of like going to go through some cards here today. I have quite a few to go through. Uh, and you know this this will this will take you on a quite of a bit of a, um, a journey through just like various types of cards and such. So um, you know it is a it is a process. So if you just kind of you know take your time with me on this one, um, it'll, it'll be fun because we're pretty much just gonna kind of go through cards um, as we go and uh, kind of find kind of find the synergies as we go. So. You know, um, I do have all these cards of, uh, available. And, um, you know, for instance, uh, let me get the Blade of Cells out. I have it right here. So that's how this kind of works is basically, you know, having a couple cards in mind and then going um, bit by bit and building upon that. So here we go. Here's the blade. I have it right here. I thought I had it amongst this pile here, and I probably do, but I... Literally, guys, I think I'll just show you this stack, and this is kind of like a good short. I have this stack, and I have an, an additional stack of basically playables that we could go through, like for this particular deck. Like, I have so many Gruel cards, and I really think that's kind of like the amazing thing about this game, is you can just kind of like rebuild and take things into different directions. So here it is. There's the Blade of Cells. So there's Fantastic. Uh, it's an artifact. It does have a higher equip cost for four, lower casting cost, I'd say, in general. Um, that equip four, slap it on a creature, have it attack, and we're going to like be busting out all those ETBs, all those into the battlefield triggers. It's going to be glorious. So there's that. My favorite commander to kind of orchestrate like creatures and artifacts, kind of like that synergy together is Maria. I think she just kind of, I think it was a very good um, design, just this red and green kind of marrying like two like components of artifacts and creatures together. I feel like that's where she's best suited. So what's good about Mary is that we can go ahead and turn on like our artifacts that don't usually tap for any value. We can start tapping them for uh, mana and we can start um, tapping these, um, our non-token artifacts such as this, two at a time to um, impulse draw off the top of our library. So it's a win-win situation, most definitely. So um, I think really the first thing we need to do is we need to establish like tokens, right? Uh, we want to build tokens for the Terror of the Peaks. We definitely want to be able to do that um, and try to work off that synergy. I also feel that like dragons are going to be like very nice for this deck in general. And um, there's some really nice dragons that are going to like just do everything we want it to do. So let's go ahead and find some of those, those creatures slash artifacts that are going to be making tokens, creature tokens for us first. I think that'll be like a good, a good start. So See, I'll just kind of put move this up and you can kind of go on this journey with me here. So I kind of have already set aside a bunch of dragons. Oh yes, we're very excited about this deck. 
very side. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be. Okay, of course, Urza's Incubator. If we're going to be playing like some a considerable amount of dragons, we definitely want an Urza's Incubator. So that's going to definitely be in the 99. And that will just not only reduce our dragon spells by two colorless, um, we can also tap it for green mana with Maria. Um, before we get into that, of course, that's bringing me to another idea. Um, first, um, I definitely want to get out. Let's see, these tokens, we want to create creature tokens, so we don't want to forget that. So let's go through this pile here. There's so many good cards. You can just see all the all the good, good girl cards. There's just so many good ones to choose from. I'll set aside some of the ones that I'm like very sure of, you know, of course. You know, if I'm very sure of some cards that I want to see, maybe perhaps in this deck, um, I'll set those ones to the side. Um... You know, Staff of Titania seems good. These Mana Dorks seem good. Beast Within. You know, Strike It Rich. That was Saren Seeker to the degree. If we we're going to, like, really go down that landfall, um, you know, Wormhole, which I'm not sure yet. Fable seems good to copy, like, our non-token um, dragons. So that's nice. Descent to Invernus. That was kind of like an... Ex if I was going to really slam the treasure, the treasure, um, you know, treasure... <clears throat> Treasure Strategy. Um, this one creates some really great tokens. So Gruff Triplets seems like a really cool card. Uh, additionally, this just like buffs all our tokens in general. The um, Thunder Botleth, as long as we have Mary on the battlefield, they get really strong and they get Trample. That's a great commander card. Here's like an Elf, of course. Elves are very good. Uh, more Elves. Yeah, we like a, like a good amount of Elves. Uh, I was thinking about Tyler's Provisioner, like, because I really was considering, like, a, you know, because Scoot Swarm and such, like, a landfall type of uh, payoff. Um, I think I'm going to definitely put that, like, kind of in the maybe pile. I mean, Scoot Swarm might just be good enough just to, you know, create create tokens in general, even without, like, really pushing the landfall. So that's something to consider. Here's just a dragon that we can kind of set aside. Um, oh, once again, just, like, a creature that's going to, like, or it's Planeswalker that just really kind of finishes off our opponents, gives us like that overrun. So there's Nyssa. And also destroy artifacts and enchantments, which is really good. All right, but um, our first mission was just to really focus in on our, um, you know, so like token creation. So perfect card. Artifact also creates those two, two green tokens that fits the bill for exactly for what Mario wants. So we can also tap that for mana under certain circumstances if we need to. So that's a great choice, the Esco's Chariot. I was considering the God Pharaoh's Gift because it's uh, you know can get value out of our graveyard, but how about Garrick's Uprising? Definitely one to consider. Definitely, I mean, we're gonna want to create value in cards. So um, there is there's another great dragon in here that um, is gonna create tokens for us, which is really nice for our game plan. I'm glad I'm doing this because I was really considering like a landfall thing, but you can see there's so many like cards that kind of take up spots and landfall is of course very good, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be going in that direction. I think I'm more committed to like dragons and artifacts at this point. Not to say that they can't like live in the same realm either, but I might've, I might've passed by the dragon brood mother. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can find that. That's the card we're looking for. Probably be near the Tyrant's Familiar if I already passed that. Okay, that might be in the other pile. Okay, let's see here. All right, so uh, the Tyrant's Familiar, what that one is, it's a Gruel Dragon, and it creates 1-1 uh, one, one Dragon tokens on each upkeep. It's really nice. So there it is. Just another one that will create the, just abundance of creatures for us. So good. Very good with that Terror of the Peaks, like our first original kind of method to this. Oops. <laughs> that was a full-on, like, kickflip. I'm back, though. Look at that. Nice recovery. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was probably going to sound crazy <laughs> on the video. I apologize. I'm getting very excited. Um, so, there was an additional card I... Um, Oh, there's lots of dragons. I'm just going to probably put these all to the side right now because we're going dragons for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragons are good. Uh, yep, yep. Um, where? Oh, yeah, another overrun card. Yeah, that's good. 
Yeah, there's just so many. Oh, there's the blade itself, the foily one. That's the one I want for the deck for sure. So I'll put that one to the side. Um, I'm looking for the dryad, and this is a dryad that creates tokens as well. So that will also help us with our token game plan. Ooh, Awaken the Woods, that's so good. such a good card in general, huh? There it is, Tender Shoot Dryad, fantastic. So there's that one. That one's a nice one where at the beginning of each cup creep, you create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token. Great, saplings you control get 2-2 two, two, as long as you have City's Blessing. And I think while we're at it, um, if we're gonna be creating so many creature tokens, let's just add a Court of Calling for like a creature tutor. We could even tutor up, say for instance, the Terror of the Peaks. Sounds wonderful. Actually, tooth and nail sounds just like a kind of a win condition for us at this point. Skullport Nexus, that one will benefit us, like kind of give us some um, staying power. Maybe instead of playing like Heroic and Intervention, we can play like a Skullport Nexus. So that one's kind of an idea right there. Um, here's like another elf. I think elves, the, the mana dorks are good. Um, there's a sword, a forge and frontier. So we've kind of moved through like our. Um, you know, we've, you know, this is how we'd also tag it in the deck list is that we have like our token generators here. So for instance, um, the Tender Shoot Dryad, which is nice. We have the Dragon Broodmother, Essica's Chariot. We have the Gruff Triplet. Um, God, even the Fable is kind of fits that, fits that um, synergy. And then our Scoot Swarm. Uh, really, really, you know, I should have read this card too. It's just so wonderful. And uh, this is it, guys. The, the Tribute of the World Tree is just, I don't know if you've played against it or played with it, but it's nasty. It really is a nasty card. This is probably should be like in most standard sets right now. You know, and I feel like maybe when I get operational for the summer, I'll probably demonstrate this. I really, you know, I... I don't know like what my intentions are with like maybe you know streaming or whatever but i plan on doing that and you know i would like to showcase some of these cards because they're just very good you know and i don't i watch a lot of content and i i think we saw this card it was pretty hot in the beginning and you know it kind of fell off a little bit it's kind of curious why you know it's so good like you get so much card advantage it makes all your like little creatures so much stronger it makes it's really it's really nasty it's a lot of value you know, and like, for instance, our Scoot Swarms will just enter as 3-3s three instead of 1-1s. One they get so much more threatening. Yeah, it's like, even the insect tokens you make with this on the battlefield are 3-3s three de facto. And then you just start drawing cards for your more powerful creatures that are 3-power or greater. Dang, man, it's really good. So much value. So, yeah, I think we kind of have our game plan here. So we have our kind of Scoots. Fable, Gruff Triplet, Essica's Chariot, Dragon Broodmother, Tender Shoot Dryad. And now we should just probably focus on the payoffs for that, right? I mean, Crater Hoof is an option, of course. Um, maybe if we don't, you know, have, you know, um, that kind of money at our disposal, or, you know, we just have it maybe in one of our decks and we're settled with our decks. We don't want to move too much stuff around. You know, N Rays Forerunners could be that. That nice, um, <laughs> that nice uh, replacement. So that's a good one. And then uh, additionally, sorry, I'm doing my dog. <laughs> Someone's at the door dropping some food off. So. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I know. Thank you. All right. So um, here's we have some. Very scary. Golden, golden doodles here. Very scary. You've seen them before. Yeah, they're here. Okay, Rube. Thank you. All right. So uh, there's Nissa, Nissa and Animist. And you know what? These these dogs are showing us that there is power here. There's definitely some serious power with these cards. And they're going to overrun us. We are doomed. We're so doomed with these guys. So, Yeah. This would be kind of fun, you know, like, let's just give all our stuff, like, 1-1 one, one and uh, trample for each force. I mean, we're not mono green, but why not? Why not? And, uh, sure, let's, um, you know, that's kind of our, how much overrun do we need? I mean, we have the, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want the um, that commander card. Let's see. He makes everything a little bit stronger. Let's get that guy out. So there's that. There he is. The Thunder Fabalith. That's a nice one, of course. So that will give all of our creatures plus two, plus two, as long as we control our commander. That's great. Okay, perfect. And um, let's see here. Just thinking, okay, the cord, of course. So this is just like that nice payoff for all of our tokens that we're making. So these are just these nice um, cards we have so far, these playables. Um, are definitely going to be into the, the list. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards so far. Um, plus we have all the dragons over here. I think once we get to like about um, 50, then that's kind of when I'm going to focus in on like just filling it in with artifacts because I like to have like a decent amount of lands, probably at least 38 at least probably 39 for this deck because we're gonna have some higher cmc cards so 39 40 would probably be responsible probably maybe maybe in the 40 range um if we do play multi-face cards which we will uh so multi-face land cards so um you know i think we're at 12 already let's see one two three four five six nine ten eleven okay so we're at 11 now so let's just kind of keep track of this as we go. Um, let's see, does that include the Blade of Selves already? I don't know, it doesn't. So here we're at 12 with the Terror of the Peaks. Then we are at 13 with the Blade of Selves. Um, you know, we could play um, Ragavan in the deck, probably be strong. And I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the Ragavan. Uh, it is a little bit more of a pricey card. Than, uh, you know, that is obviously kind of a setback for that particular card. You know, it is, even after the reprint, it is very expensive, but it is it is very good at our one spot. So amongst the uh, mana dorks that we're going to have, we're going to also have probably be, be good to play a Ragavan as well. I would also play just in general, I'll just get this one out while it's ready, is the Arcane Signet. Um, even though, like, Mary, uh, predominantly, um, you know, helps us <clears throat> in, um, turning all our artifacts into mana, it's still okay to play, like, Arcane Signet because it's just very good in the beginning of the game and, um, can play and can tap for all of our colors. So, I think we can just kind of start filling in the deck now. Um, we do definitely want some, some elves in the deck. Um, probably along with Ragavan and Soul Ring, probably for um, like a Bird of Paradise, of course, would be very good. Right now, we'll just, you know, fill it in with some elves. So, you know, one of these will be a bird. So we should probably put in about three more elves. And I believe I have an Elvish Mystic in this pile. Perhaps I do not, that's okay, let's see here. Maybe not in this pile. And that's fine, let's see here. There's an Elvish Mystic, there's a nice one there. And the Arbor Elf, that should be fine. All right. So, you know, we probably want a bird of paradise, you know, and, and, you know, for one of these elves. So it could be probably for the arbor elf, just because we're not going to be always readily untapping um, forests. We might have like pathways and such. So the bird of paradise will probably replace the arbor elf, to be honest. So now that we have kind of our um, mana in place, I do think like... Uh, I think like a Sakura Trout Elder could be good too. 
And I think I have that one set out here. There he is. Just because we're gonna be playing like the Great Henge and, um, you know, so that will have that synergy when we're, you know, if we're top decking this and for instance, playing it off the Great Henge, we can go ahead and keep our gas going instead of like having like a nature's lore or three visits, I suppose. So that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good base to the deck. Now, we want to add some dragons for sure. So, I mean, we can kind of just go through like a list of like kind of my favorite dragons. Um, I have to definitely get one out here as well. A very important one, because I don't think I saw it in the pile yet. Oh, I think I know where I put it. Let's see. Well, of course, Old Knobbone is very good. Um, and that's the one I think I have it amongst uh, all my other decks I have right now. So we can imagine that. We'll just say that this is the Old Knobbone, this beautiful forest right here from Lord of the Rings. And um, Old Nabon is that seven mana flying seven seven dragon where if any of your creatures deal combat damage to uh, an opponent, you create that many treasures. So it's just a very strong card that gives you a lot really ahead on mana through treasures. So, um, you know, that's just part of like, you know, a really good list of dragons. Um, Dragonborn Champion um, drawing us cards for being, a, you know, just a nice dragon and dealing five damage at a time for a source dealing that much damage we draw a card that's really nice savage vent mod just for creating an abundance of mana and just when it attacks it just creates a crap load of mana and we don't lose those as it phases um phase out then we have the uh, hellkite charger here and that's just a nice combo with the um savage vent mod where Basically, you're you're just like you're net you're net losing like one mana each time, but you're like accruing a bunch of combat stamps. And you have if you have like a for instance a old Nawbone or any other creature that's creating treasures or getting you ahead that way, you can keep keep that ball rolling and um, keep basically win the game with infinite combat. Here's the uh, Minion of the Mighty, just a nice one to synergize. We're just going to be attacking um, with creatures with six of power or greater total, and then. Um, and he has to attack as well. The minion has to attack. And in doing so, we reveal a dragon card from a hand and it's attacking an opponent. That's great. Here's a dragon tempest. It'll give all our flying creatures haste. And whenever a dragon enters the battlefield, it does X damage to a target creature or player, depending on how many dragons are on the battlefield. It's a very good card. Here's the obsidian charma. Just a good commander card. Um, would be really nasty with a blade of selves too, actually. You know, you could play this for a cheap price as long as um, opponents have... Uh, lands it produce colorless so that's that's a nice one <clears throat> scourge of alcus also a killer dragon where it just does well with other dragons it's also very good with like a blade of selves too let's be honest Vasion of tarkir just some nice removal here um lathis these are all my favorite dragons i had these dragons all set aside for like a dragon concept deck so i'm glad they're just kind of like coming together very seamlessly for this there's Dracuseth, some nice removal there. As long as we give it haste, it, it must have haste, or else it's kind of a dead card, just kind of sits. There's a Tarka giving all our dragons double strike, fantastic. Chiscoria, this one has nice synergy because it's gonna see all the artifacts and be coming out for a cheaper price and digging for more of those artifacts and helping us get there through the library. Here's the Skyline Despot. This one's a nice one because it just helps you draw cards as becoming the Monarch. Additionally, we'll uh, create those 5-5 five, five red dragon creature tokens on the upkeep, on your upkeep. It's nice. It creates tokens. There we go. And then the cabin horror dragon for just a little more extra mana. Now, there is more dragons. Um, don't get me wrong. So let's go get them out. Put some of these cards that I kind of catch in my eye as I go. It's kind of interesting. <clears throat> That's good, 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 maybe not. Yep, there's Gold Span Dragon. Fantastic red dragon there, creates treasures when it attacks, and then our treasures tap for two more. 
Then the new one there, the Bone Yard Dracosaur. So that's a nice one. And uh, on our upkeep, we just create, we create, um, depending on what we exile, we, we, um, we create, if a land card is exiled, you create a treasure. Um, if you exile a non-land card, you create a treasure token. So just, and it just a lot of gasoline. And you get to exile those cards so you get to play them. <laughs> it's really good. Here's the Balefire Dragon. That someone's a nice one. Uh, I'm thinking of probably playing like three sweepers. So um, like a spite-filled banner tree seems pretty decent here. Uh, also, a uh, burn down a house and like a blasphemous act should be fine. Uh, additionally, like a sarcon would be good. These seem all good, like um, some extra combat steps, reward us with aggravated assault. Scourge of the Tyrone for more combat steps and Tyrant's Familiar. Um, of course, one of the big pop of cards here is the um, Ancient Copper Dragon. That one's nice. Uh, Roman Throne seems to fit this deck very well. Because with Maria, just very good in general. We'll tap for mana as well, so we get a little extra value. Tintermber Symbiosa seems fine. Uh, yeah, like some more card advantage, like a Rishkar. Oh God, it's just, there's so many good cards. I just kind of will just pick and choose as I go. I feel like we're gonna be playing some low cost uh, artifacts here. Um, Doors of Durin is very good for this deck. Yeah, I think we're honestly like kind of getting close to kind of our limit here, to be honest. Um, let's play an Immortal Sun for more cards. That seems fine. I think we're probably about maybe at 50 slash, you know, come, approaching that. That's why it's hard to build these decks because you're just like, you know, there's so many good cards. There's just so many good cards and it's hard. You know, it's really hard to kind of do so. It's kind of, you know, hard to pick and choose which ones you want. And I think that honestly, you could probably just kind of have a stopping point eventually. Um, I think I did want to kind of explore some lower cost. Yeah. Oh, there's more dragons to steal Hellkite. That's got to be involved. Just most definitely. Udvara Hellkite seems good. More Hellkite's Tyrant. Herald's Horn. Penta Prism. Some gasoline. There's burned down the house. We're just rolling right now. Wrathful Red Dragon seems good. I don't know if I've added a Ring of Alcus or Dowsing Dagger, but those seem good. A Goblin Arachnomancer seems good. Um, maybe we just play the um, the Moxes, though, but this one's pretty good, really. So let's just kind of do an overview of how many cards we have. God, there's so many good cards. It's so difficult. It is so difficult, guys, um, to make these kind of choices but I think we're on a good track here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh we're just way over 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. So was there any cards that like I was like kind of feel like I'm missing out on? Um, I really think that like the haste is like a big part of this. So... You know, Lava Spur Boots are very... This is a nice new one. There's no doubt about that. Getting our dragons hasty is really nice. Um, you know, I think maybe all in all, the artifacts are going to do their job. I feel like, you know, obviously there's Wombo Bombo cards like um, Emerald Medallion and Ruby Medallion. Those are so good. Because they, like, reduce the cost and they can tap for mana. It's just like, whoa. But we might be, like... We might be able to get away with, like, the... Um, just having like a, a good amount of like low cost artifacts like this to tap for mana that might just get us there. Um, even like a card like Dowsing Dagger to like accelerate us with mana. Additionally, we're gonna have to have like the Ring of Valkus. We can play the suite of, um, of 
hasty artifacts here, most definitely. Let's see, we're going to need the uh, we're gonna need the dowsing device, most definitely. So if you're looking for like kind of those hasty artifacts, I've kind of like accumulated them here. I have the dowsing device, ring of Valkus, dowsing dagger, lava spur, and then you have your um, Let's see, we have our <clears throat> Lightning Greaves and Swift Food Boots. So let's get those out. There's Lightning Greaves. We'll get to find the boots here amongst all these cards. Don't know if we got it out already. Probably not. So let's find the boots. Boots, I need the boots. <clears throat> it's probably amongst the pile, I just, maybe I didn't notice it. I swear I took it out, I saw it. Is this it? Oh, she, okay. So then we got our Swift Food Boots, okay. So haste is definitely like a priority for us, so, um, yeah, we're just going to kind of get those hasty things out and kind of narrow it down from there. Additionally, we have our, um, let's see, our amazing dragon cards here. So let's just think of like our best, best dragons. Um, you know, we've kind of discussed like in terms of token synergy. So now we're just kind of like further refining our list and kind of narrowing it down, kind of focusing it down, going back to our original cards we had in mind uh, and the synergy of, um, you know, creating our dragons. So um, our Scoot Swarm is there, fantastic. Um, tribute to the World Tree. And then, uh, then our beautiful Terror of the Peaks, of course. There we are. Very nice. Okay, and then of course the um, the dragons that are going to support us, support us for putting more dragons on the battlefield, of course. And then I think after that removal will be like kind of our focus. So there is the scourge of Alcus, and now here's the dragon brood mother. Just tokens in general, of course. Um, let's just do this. We have the Gruff Triplet. It's not a dragon. It's true. But let's do it. Let's see what happens. Because we are kind of having like kind of an overrun theme, you know? So there's the Chariot. I even think like an Emperor Cleave. There's so many good cards. There's like so many. So let's just, you know, let's just try to go with this so far. And, you know, we'll play a couple overrun here. Then we have the Thunderfoot Ballad. A little bit of gas, some tutor gas with the uh, Court of Calling, which is good. And we have some more, we can tutor some more gas. <laughs> we will play with the tutor gas. That tooting gas. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Just seeing like Rishkar's expertise, that's, that's pretty good here too, right? Um, let's see here. Just looking for the... Tooth and Nail, it's very good. Or basically our win con. What did I do with that? Sorry guys, this is a, an interesting one because we're putting kind of some, a lot of moving parts together and this is kind of uh, the way, the way to do it. Oh my God, if I, if I did that again, I'd be crazy. <clears throat> There's Tooth and Nail, that's great. Fantastic. So, because we're going to be creating like an abundance of mana, you know. So, we kind of have our synergy for our tokens here and our big mana. And then we kind of want to probably focus in on um, our removal with dragons, of course. So, let's get that going. So, here we go. Does this to any target that's not a dragon, that's kind of fun. 
So there's the Wrathful Red Dragon. There's Burn Down the House. Um, yeah, we like cards with Maria, so Reckon, Reckon our Bank Buster is good. Um, I don't think I'll need the Pentai Prism, but this is actually sounds like so fun to play. I'm not going to be sacrificing it, though. Herald's Horn. I don't know if we're playing enough dragons for this, so maybe we'll just make that, like, preemptively. Um, but God, would that mean we're not playing the Urza's Incubator either? Maybe. Yeah, maybe not. That's all right. Um, we do know that the Goblin uh, Arachnomancer, that's going to probably be good. But, you know, maybe maybe we're going to get by. You know, let's see if we can get by. Um, Hellkite Tyrant, probably really good with haste. So let's try it out. Probably really good with haste. Um, Udvara Hellkite, expensive. Very expensive card. Better with, like, an Urza's Incubator. If we're not playing the Incubator, then maybe not. Steel Hellkite. If it has haste, it's good. Should be good. So, and it's removal. Let's find our removal here. Doors of Durn, that's kind of a no-brainer. Here's some removal. Tyrant's familiar, what a crazy card that is. Just attacks and just deals seven damage something as long as you have your commander on the battlefield. And Dracusa, that's removal, as long as it has haste. Invasion of Tarkir, that's some nice removal and damage in general. Um, and we can go with the extra combat steps too. Ah, Cloth. I forgot about Cloth. I've got to get Cloth in here. So let's see, this would just be Cloth. Um, now let's think about cards. There are a couple of dragons that will draw us cards. As long as we're doing damage and not... Ooh. Yeah, that's like the Dragonborn Champion. I think Atarka is just going to be going in because of the double strike. It's just kind of a nasty guy. Giving all our dragons um, double strike. Chiscoria can draw some cards, can get us into our library. Skyline Despot can do that as well. I like I like the Bone Heart. I like these. I like Gold Span and the Bone Horde. They're good. This one has haste already, the Cavern Horde Dragon, so. Depending on like if your opponents have like a good amount of artifacts. So. Oh, here we go. This is like the best removal dragon. It's the Balefire Dragon. Um, and then of course we're gonna have to keep in mind um, the mana, creating mana, of course, with our treasure. So that'll help the Scourge of Throne. <clears throat> Even those extra combat steps, aggravated assault fits that bill. Sarkon, I don't know if we need that exactly. Spiteful Benetry, sure. And um, Lathless, I think so. I think so. Minion, I don't know. And then we have all our elves here. I could I could really do without the Sakura Tribe Elder, to be honest. But I do want all these elves, and this Ragavan, and this Blade of Selves. Um, I do want the Fable as well. I feel like a couple artifacts that generate treasure, specifically, will be very good for us. That are single-costed. Of course, Soul Ring will be very good. I did not include that one already amongst this pile. Did not. Um, Escape to the Wild is great. Haywire Might is great. It's a really good removal for us. Misha Bobble is a good zero drop. You can also draw a card. Hope of Gearper is a fantastic one drop. I don't know if I need the... F I, this is a dragon. It is true. It is a dragon, so it can go in. Sure. Immortal Suns is kind of a nice bomb. You just get like an extra card. Sounds good to me. Memnite can go in there. Umazawa's Jite, that's fine. Ornithopter's good. Shadow Spear's good. Rishkar's good. Turn Timber Symbios is good. And Roaming Throne. Kind of a nasty thing with the Tower of the Peaks, that's for sure. But you know, I don't know if we need it. Do we need it? 
I don't know. What will it... Oh, yeah, I could be really good with, like, a Tyrant's Familiar. <laughs> Actually, like, jeez. Oh, boy. This card is so bust, though. Bust the roomy. Man, it just kind of makes all the dragons so much better. <laughs> it's it's so nasty. It makes you, like, kind of want to just say yes to this and yes to this. Yeah, it really does, huh? Um, oh yeah, so then the Doors of Durin, of course, that's very good. Um, Commander Plate for Protection from Maria, the Sword of Fortune Frontier is excellent. And I think we're kind of approaching the end here. Uh, I do like Misha's Desk as just a one-drop, just for like, gasoline. It's good gas. Um, I mean, get for tokens. We're playing a lot of tokens. I guess Perforos is pretty good. Does that give stuff to haste? Hasty stuff? Nah. That's the other Perforos. Probably Savala to get some mana. This is at our bottom end. Mind up. Warnclux is so good. Oh my God, all these new cards are so good. Siren Stealth Beast Steel Seeker, Wake in the Woods. Yeah, these were just all considerations. Cityscape Leveler. Oof. Just an honorary dragon almost, huh? I think we'll be okay. Portal of the Phyrexia. Crazy card. And uh <clears throat> I kind of almost forgot that this is this is a really interesting one, actually, because it creates tokens and um ramps us and it's an artifact that was a good suggestion from one of the uh one of our one of our nice chat members that showed up in the comments thanks there you are that's your your input if you ever watch this thanks and then i think we can include like pretty much all these colorless ones here i like the beat stick to be honest i think that's my favorite red red single cost artifact that makes treasure yeah, equipments are very good for Maria. I think I already put in a red one over here. Umazawa's GTA, that's kind of a nice one. It, it's better for if you have like double strike, a lot of double strike. I don't know if we have a lot of double strike. I do want to make a double strike deck with uh, Umazawa's GTA though. Like maybe a commander that has double strike would be very fun. I just want to make sure I didn't put that single costed artifact in here. Once again, we're like a little bit over, but I don't think as bad as it was before. I think we're pretty, pretty, look, we're looking pretty good. So these are good. These are good right here. I just want to make sure I didn't put that card in there already. Um, so I think I'm pretty sure, uh, <laughs> rabbit battery. Rabbit battery is pretty good too. All right, let's just see where we're at now. Just drop these two in there, just like that. And we'll see if we have a deck. I think we were shooting for like 60 or so cards. Um, so hopefully we're right around that mark. And uh, I think we kind of just kind of put it together. And that was, that was it. And you guys chilled with me for a couple minutes here. One, two, three, four. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 77 cards. So, uh, I think I would cut like 14 cards from this pile. It's a mask of memory. I think we'll have enough gas. You know, I'm not too scared. I think Robert Battery is not the worst case for our haste. Tasty guys, um, and it's a good one spot, so we love one drops. I mean, what's the worst, you know, out of these? You know, it's, I mean, they're all pretty good. I mean, I suppose the, I guess the Ring of Alcus, I guess, just because it's a two. You know, you could even consider like removing like, um, 
one of these things, like a pick, because I think it's important to have ones, you know? Ones are very good with Maria, you know? I'm willing to try this staff, too. It's kind of an interesting one, to be honest. So that's kind of a cool one. Good for landfall, too, specifically. You know, maybe better for landfall than anything, but... So maybe we're just going to rid those. Savala, I don't know. I mean, Savala is just very good, but it does kind of interfere with our commander <coughs> to an extent, which is a three cost. Um, Perforo, sure. That's good, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I could cut that one. Uh, Charma, we'll try that one out. Sure, that's a land. So there we go. We're actually kind of already up a land, so that's good. Rish cards, that's fine. Probably even play last March, to be honest. These are fine. This is fine. Bobble. I'll probably say goodbye to the Bobble. Uh, Might. Good. Soul Ring. Yep. Fable. Bird of Paradise will probably, you know, substitute for this. Um, how many elves do we have? One, two, three, four, five. And with a Soul Ring. Yeah, that sounds good. About six six mana dorks there. That seems pretty decent. Blade. Lathless. Are we putting out a lot of non-token dragons? Maybe not. Maybe not. Banditry. You know, I could even see us playing, like, imagine this is just Blasphemous Act. And, uh, and burn down the house for sweepers. Or even um, find, like, a beast within. I kind of like that idea already. <clears throat> Play like a blasphemous act of bleast within and like a chaos warp. Seems like a good plan in general. So this will be blasphemous act here. Looking for the beast within. Be in this pile. I think I saw it. Oh, there's chaos warp. Nice. Beast within. Nice. Okay, cool. And uh, whew, there's just so many good cards. It's hard. So let's keep rolling through here. So we got kind of our removal here. This is fine. You know, I can even see Beast within. Just be, yeah, Beast within and um, Blasphemous Act. Seems pretty good. Burn down the house too. If we don't want to play like the Wrathful Red. Yeah, we could try it. I don't think I took it out either. Well, hope you like everybody's doing good. I'm uh, just about finishing our school year in Las Vegas, so. And all the kids worked really hard, and everything was great. So, I had a really nice school here in Las Vegas, and I'm about to eat some pho soup. So, I'm very excited about that. So, very exciting. Okay, so I think we've kind of we, did, we deduced like a beast within and a blossom that stack should be sufficient. I don't know if we need to run burn down the house to be honest, or the wrathful red dragon. I think that's okay. So let's keep moving through here. Aggravated Assault, honestly, I don't know if I want that to be in the wing con, to be honest. I, 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 like, the, I like the kind of the interaction with the <clears throat> Savage Vent Maw and the, uh, the Hellkai Tyrant, or, or um, the Hell, what is it? One of these dudes, the Hellkai Charger. I do like that interaction very much, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's some extra combat, it's just a good dragon. It's an ancient copper dragon, we all know what that does. These are good, very good, very good. Draws cards like that, cards. Double strike on our dragons, good. Yep, and uh, this is Old Knobbone, fantastic. <coughs> Hellkite Charger, Savage Vent Maw, Invasion of Tykir, Dracus, uh, Tyrant's Familiar, Hellkite. This one, um, you know we are we're, we're getting a lot of support to haste so it should be good 
should be fine. Bankbuster um, is cards, so we do like that. We do love cards. We do like that. Court of Calling seems very cool here. Thunderful Balith. So kind of like this overrun package. I could just see us doing like this, something like this. That's fine, right? And then we have kind of more tokens here. Tokens, 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 tokens. Badass, badass, and a scoot swarm. <laughs> Honestly, do we even have to run a scoot swarm? I, I don't know, but we are running tribute, so why not? And there's our Dragon Tempest. So, guys, guys, I think that's it. You went on and you through a kind of a journey there, a, a gruel journey, and this is what gruel does to you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And whatever number I land on, I'm pretty sure I'll just add land and say go. Because with Maria, you know, you're you're kind of running lots of more lands in the in the form of low man artifacts. So keep that in mind with her. So you could probably go down and land comp. I was thinking 40, because I was thinking of like the high cost of the dragons. But maybe like a 35 is like a sweet number. So if we can get to 65 playables, you know, I think we'll I think we'll be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. 69, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. And um, I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to say goodbye to, like, one of these little zero costs. Probably the Memnite. And and that's it, guys. <laughs> that, is, that is it. There is the deck. We will add lands. <laughs> it's over. Woo! All right. Well, thanks for joining me. And let me exercise that. Have a great day. Goodbye.